Melissa moved to somewhere else in the house, and Maddie came into the kitchen, sitting on one of the island stools. Sorry, Ari. I tried. I smiled. The attempt is appreciated. Though you would think she would be too busy with the gathering ball planning to come home early. I've never been so excited in my whole life. What if I find my mate the first time I go? I chuckled. Then I would have to give you my cake recipe. Do I get it too if I find my mate? Ty came down from upstairs and leaned over the island. I slapped his hand away from the croutons I had made for the salad. No snacking. Wait for dinner. And now you want my recipe too? Ty huffed. Just because I don't watch every move you make doesn't mean I don't want it. Because I do. He paused. Like, a lot. I laughed at them. They were probably my saving grace in this house. Even when they had to turn a blind eye. They never hurt me directly and tried to include me in their brother-sister relationship. The front door opened and closed. We all stiffened. Father was home and Melissa had already reached him, talking in hushed voices. You guys better go, I whispered to them as I turned and quickly got a glass, filling it with a can of beer from the refrigerator. Ingrate! My father's voice boomed through the house. He strode into the kitchen, where I passed him the glass already. You could smell the alcohol on his breath and the slight slur in his speech. Ever since he got passed up for the promotion last month, every day he started to smell more like alcohol than wolf. Dinner's almost ready. It's in the oven and we can eat as soon Your as- Your mother I told me that you were outside today when she came home. That Maddie had to find you. I swallowed. Yes, father. I was sitting in the trees just outside the house. He took hold of my arm and dragged me through the house. Throwing me into the floor in the den, he growled. How many times do I have to tell you that you are not allowed outside? I just needed Did you shift? No, father, I would never-